okay so let's take a look at how you can create sql server database project and how to create a table with designer and finally deploy and publish the result to database so i have visual studio 22 open and here i'm going to click on create new project it should show me this text box where i'm going to type in sql server and there we have to find database project so simply select from this list sql server database project then click next and here let's name this project something like sql db project right and here you see solution name also reflects there click on create it should open Visual studio with this particular solution now within that we have to make few changes we will also take a look at how it has structured the solution so first thing would be to letting it create the project now here you see the solution explorer where you see the properties options right and on left hand side you have toolbox and also this particular server explorer right so apart from that we'll go to our solution explorer to check properties now here when you select this particular project that we just created below that we will see properties double click on this and it should open project settings now here the target platform is sql server 2016 you can change that to 2019 right so sql server 2019 right then you also have few more options to check like let's say if you want to have default schema with dbo if you want to change that similarly there are also sql cr sql cr build options and you can see here it will target the default language c sharp change that to visual basic set the permission level safe unsafe or external access also target the framework which is by default 4.7.2 can add any other framework to the list right then you have sql cr build with respective properties then comes the build tab where you see the output to that build output path stored in this particular debug directory with this particular file name then you have this debug option we'll take a look at that later right now let's close this and right click on our project and here we have to add a new folder let's name this objects and below that we'll also add a few more folders let's name this as let's say functions right and then let's add one more folder that says views we'll also add one more that says tables and also add one more that says stored procedure right now that we have structure for our project we can check for one of the item which is tables now right click on it then add and then comes tables now before going to table i can show you the option for servers so when you check that and when you select this particular server right now here we can also tap in and say add server where you have to add a specific server ip or computer name right for example i already have this computer name nova 
right where you can see the list of available services and event logs perform counter are listed right now there is also one more option which is SQL Server Object Explorer let's check that now when we tap onto that you will notice that it will show me two instances of the database one being your local DB showing you this disconnected databases right notice that it has system databases listed in both of them here you notice that uh, both of them showing the same version right one being the ms sql local db second being project models local db so these two instances that you get within your sql server object explorer now that we have it we can move to our tables add and then new item now within this list i want to add table so let me scroll to this particular table section select that let's name something to our table like let's say my user db right and then click add and it should show you a table designer right and below that immediately you will have a sql script generator right so by default you have id as primary key which is going to be integer let's add a few more items so let me add name which is going to be marker 50 i'm not going to allow null then comes address it comes with marker 50 right if you want both of them nulls simply select that similarly you can keep on adding the columns let's say phone that i also want marker 50 and here immediately you will notice that you have this particular script right and when you publish or deploy your database project to that particular database it will have this script running and making the change to that particular database right and if you check that particular local db which is local db ms sql local db within your sql server management studio you will find it has this table my user db added into it right so here we will take a look at few more things like let's say the deploy and publish options so now let's take a look at properties right and here you have build right and within that we can see the path right then comes debug and let's see here we have our connection string right that shows local db project models right this is what we will be using for connecting because we have this selected at the time of creating our table so it has added project models then when you want to build what we can do is can simply close this particular project settings then go to build then build solution right so let's open that it has started the build right as you can see build succeeded everything is correct now i can right click on my particular project 
and here we can find option for publish right and here you see target database setting target database connection you can edit that and here you can choose your local which is going to be your project models right so this is what we will be using within our sql server management studio as well right so local db then slash then project models and then windows authentication and then my username goes automatically the same then you can choose the database name here you can see uh, let's say msdb or within advance we can see that it has source right and also the parameters as well the which which you can change and at the bottom you will notice that particular data source string info right so you get the idea where to connect you can connect the options so test the connection to check the connection there with this particular project model so click ok to push your changes there right now that we have our database connection right what we can do let's name the database something like let's say my db then we have publish script name and then we can generate script or publish it so let's say if i choose to publish this here you can also find register as a data tier application right then simply click publish and at the bottom you can see data tools operation showing you the output it will show you if it's successful here you see creating publish preview database script executing database and here you see it shows green check mark that means the script has run and we are ready to go to sql server management studio so let me go there and check for sql server management studio it will take few seconds to load now let me connect to sql server right so here i'm first connecting with the defaults and after that i'm going to use this particular connect object explorer option now here within server name i'm going to use this local db and then forward slash and here i have to use the database project models right so project models and then click on connect right once we are connected you can see sql server management studio showing us this databases folder now here we have our mydb that we just created just open that check for table and here you see my user db you can check that it has designed the table the way we want it so right click on design and here you'll see the design is exactly as we did within our database project in visual studio so we have seen so far how to create sql server database project in visual studio how to design our table how to deploy and publish the result and how to view the changes that we have made within sql server management studio